Hey guys, finally sleeps here. EA released the second week of Retro Stars on Thursday, along with month two of the weekend tournament. Wednesday, the day before that reset, live on Twitch, we discovered that EA was in fact changing the memory tab in Retro Stars from matches like this one against Barcelona to skill games. Yes, I said skill games. The one element of Retro Stars that was actually challenging and sort of grindable was supposedly getting swapped out for a series of 9 or 10 easy skill games. What it was going to look like, we really didn't know. So, here's how that revelation played out live on Twitch. Yay, Antoine confirms that second week Retro Memory Lane will be based on only skill games. <laughs> yeah. Sure. FIFA Jesse cheered X10. The guide says the second chapter is skill games. I checked lol. So what are we saying that in the guide it says the second week is all skill games? All right, we'll let that play. I'll go to the guide because you guys got me all curious now. I don't believe it at all. There's no way they're going to make a memory lane all skill games. That is equal part stupid and just pointless. That's just stupid. They did update the the guide. Retro memory chapters. Play matches here to earn coins, skill boost, blah, blah, blah. Retro memory chapter week two. Play skill games for random rewards, including a hazard key. Complete all nine skill games for an extra 100 retro points. This chapter counts towards the end of an era Mario Gomez milestone. Skill games. Skill games. What? What the hell? Ah, uh, that's... I, I think you guys think that's funny, but that's really, really, really gonna suck. It's Yeah, it's the worst thing ever. I don't know, that's just dumb as shit. Not only is it stupid, because it... The whole point of those are the matches, but it says it's only 10. It says there's only 10. So there's... Maybe they'll have matches in there or something else. There's got to be a twist. If they just do 10 skill games, and that's the entire memory lane, and there's no SBC... God, God. Yes, EA took a big shit on their heads. If EA does... does it's, if it's all skill games for the second retro, good God. I mean, talk about phoning shit in. And what sucks is I was just talking earlier today about how Retro Stars is a halfway decent event for all the shit events they've been giving us. It's almost like everyone bitched and complained about no grinding. And EA was like, here, hold my beer. Guess what? No matches. Just skill games. Too dumb to be true. Yeah, and they will. They'll take 10 stamina because we just expect it to. If there is even an SBC in the formation, if we're now getting a bunch of stupid-ass skill games, a bunch of bullshit. As you can see, we were none too happy with the change. I, in particular, was less than thrilled. Then the reset hit on Thursday, and instead of a path of 10 skill games of various difficulty and intensity, something along the lines of the expert nodes that gave us so much trouble earlier this season in World Tour, no. EA drops Trout and squeezes out nine easy skill games that took all of 10 minutes to complete. Talk about phoning it in. Many of us were so excited about the second round of weekend tournament and all of the coins we were going to make there to let these skill games slide. But that's the problem. It's the small stuff like this. These failures to read the room, these lapses in judgment and downright disregard for the small details that so many of us hardcore FIFA mobile players are either beginning to lose faith or are continuing to walk away from the game that's been a staple in our everyday life for the last four years. A second week with nothing more than the same matches as the first week would have been much better than this shift. We go from 18 matches, an 80 rated max versus attack match, and then one epic SBC to nine easy skill games. Saying I'm disappointed 
is an understatement of biblical proportions. Saying I'm surprised, though, is unfortunately just as sarcastic. The end of FIFA Mobile 20 is coming soon. The only good thing about the way this is heading is EA has run FIFA Mobile 20 so far into the dirt that FIFA Mobile 21 should be amazing, comparatively speaking. As my dearly departed grandma would have said, a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest would have a better shot at a trophy than EA has a shot at getting one of these big events right. I, I, I got <laughs> nothing else. Uh, tune in live every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, an hour before reset, where we break down the game, chat about the market, and generally just wreak havoc on all things sensible. Check out FinallySleeps.com for all things FIFA Mobile. A big shout out to the newest member at the site, Eugene. Welcome to the family, Eugene. Last, check out the Foot Mobile Twitch Discord, uh, where you can chat with Stopti, Ruben, and myself, along with the rest of the streamers in the FIFA Mobile community. There's event math, market tips, chat, you name it. Tricks, tips galore. I, I don't know. EA's got me. This skill games. That's it. For the love of God, EA, please get your shit together. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos. I'm going to put together a highlight of today's Twitch stream, and I'm thinking right now it's going to be nothing more than me bitching about skill games in week two. <laughs>